Hey everyone, it's Miles, and I want to show you my newest project. First things first, we should probably clean up. Well, now that that's all out of the way, I'd like to introduce to you the 3D printer safety gadget. About a month ago, my 3D printer short-circuited mid-print, and this caused the sheathing of the wires to start to burn. Luckily, I was around to turn off the power and make sure no more damage was caused. If I hadn't been, my 3D printer could have caught fire. I'm not the only one that this has happened to. People all over the internet have been reporting fires and electrical failures on 3D printers. So I set out to do something. I created the 3D printer safety gadget, a solution for decreasing the amount of damage done by electrical fires and possibly even preventing them. The concept is simple. A sharp brand dust sensor senses for smoke coming from the 3D printer electronics. If smoke is detected, it cuts power to the 3D printer and sounds an alarm. While this may seem like too simple of a solution to stop against major catastrophes such as 3D printer fires or electrical failures, it includes everything it needs to do so. The main components of this device are an Arduino Nano, sharp brand dust sensor, a relay, a tactile push button, a 20 millimeter fan, and an Arduino buzzer. This device can be built for under $20 and can prevent against hundreds or even thousands of dollars in damages. Also, it brings peace of mind about running your 3D printer unattended. I've connected my 3D printer safety gadget to the top of my printer so that fumes from the electronics travel upwards and are caught by the fan opening. The relay sticks outwards and connects to the power cable for the printer. Power is cut when smoke is detected. As a demonstration, I will be using this soldering iron and the fumes created from it to simulate the smoke of an electronics failure and the response of the 3D printer safety gadget. The device can be reset by pressing the tactile push button on its enclosure. Turning on the printer if the hazard is no longer there. Though I cannot guarantee that this will stop all printer failures or fires, this will do a lot to help you restore peace of mind and help prevent damages. For more information about this project and a full tutorial, follow the hackshare.io link in the description. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, and if you want to see more projects by me, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.